Hi everyone, it's Marie here again. I just want to share my latest journal with you today. Um, well, this one um, is very grungy. Um, some of the papers are really dark. I've used a method. Um, I've seen it. it's it's like a variation on boiled papers, and it was uh, a, a video by Sonia M on YouTube. That's Sonia Milojevic if I pronounced that right and um, she was showing how to do a eco dyeing and one of the methods she used was to put um, papers in an oven pan with all the I mean she uh, Sonia used leaves and rusty metals and things and I just used tea bags and coffee um, but I did it by that method where you put them in the oven pan and then put them in the oven to boil in the oven basically for about 10 minutes and then you leave them to soak and then take the papers out and dry them from there. So some of the papers, particularly the um, the uh, photo, matte photo paper, um, has come out really, really dark. And some of the other papers, you know, it varies depending on the type of paper. But you'll see as we go through. So it, some of them are really dark, but I didn't want it to be like a kind of masculine type of feel. I wanted it to be but not too feminine, but certainly not masculine. So I, um, I've added laces and and fabrics um, to embellish throughout. And um, the style I've gone for is very um, inspired by Belinda, who's the Southern Scribe on YouTube. If you haven't already seen um, Belinda's channel, you should go over and check it out, the Southern Scribe, because she makes amazing journals and the and that's the style I was trying to kind of emulate when I did this. So um, I hope you like it anyway. So we'll go in and have a look. So on the the covers made with a with a nine uh, nine by twelve envelope, so the journal's nine by six. And um, I did it, dyed it in the brown, and then just um, sealed it with PVA glue. And then I've covered the whole. Um, whole journal with this uh, piece of lace I think it was like a kind of like a, a vintage cloth you know for on a dressing table or something like that and when I bought it the other week it was quite grey and discoloured and quite dingy so I've tea dyed it and uh, looks a, a lot better now being tea dyed so I've wrapped that round and incorporated it in the in the fastening so this is seam binding which is wrapped around and then we use part of the part of the cloth there so that's all fixed on the back and then it just comes around here and that wraps around to fasten so I quite like the look of that, it's quite nice and on the inside the inside cover is just um, covered with some cardstock I've done like a little lace flap here and there's just a little layered image here of a rather cute little boy with, with curly hair. And this is some of the paper that I did in this in Sonia's method. Um, and this is the photo, matte photo paper, and this is uh, how it came out. It's, it's really quite dark, but some interesting patterns going on there. And then the, I don't know why, but with whatever I... Um, Stain these papers with maybe it's going to have darker on one side. I think the two surfaces must be must have a different surface, but so that's the other side of that same paper. And I've just done a fabric trim here in a ruffle and just a little bit of script stamping. And on this page, this is um, a fussy cut I, I scanned and then a fussy cut this from a from some old um, handicrafts home handicrafts magazines uh, that I bought. Uh, uh, antiques fair and uh, that was in there so I thought that was, that was quite a nice image so I just cut that out and put that on there just a little uh, fabric and lace trim there some script stamping and this is obviously that's just been a tea bag you can probably tell that square there and then this image is from a, a Reader's Digest compilation book that I've got um, I just like the image on that, so that's trimmed with lace. Uh, some stamping. 
And this is some Tsunami Rose, uh, I think this is a Rosette Provision, which was a free free download. Uh, and I just thought that, you know, the dark colours in this went well, this particular style. Just some corrugated line stamping on that. There's, there's a lot of journaling space in here, there's, a, there's over 100 pages. And a lot of them are blank, they just uh, got some stamping or some blank on them, so there's plenty of room for writing. And just some washi on the edges. A uh, little ticket and a piece of lace there. A little flip down. This can also be a tuck spot. I haven't put any ephemera in. I've got some to go with it, but I haven't put any in, so I'll show you where all the tuck spots are. So there's a tuck spot there, there's a tuck spot there. And I could... Oh, no, that's not. That's stuck down. So I'm just going to illustrate where the tuck spots are. On this page, you've got a doily on the top and a nice piece of lace there. And again, you've got, like, Kind of that's a tuck spot in either of those places. Some plain paper, some more tsunami rose, um, and some script stamping. There's a pocket here, and that's also a tuck spot there. A piece of linen, some more tsunami rose, some manuscript paper, some music paper. And that can also be a tuck spot there. And this is a um, an idea I got from Nick the Booksmith, where you make your own like like a bag. Um, just do some stamping on it, and then just um, fold a piece of A4 and seal it down the back. It makes a nice pocket. There. On this page, it's got some lace, some book paper, and some stitching. Some random stitching. And you've got some lace, some of the paper just stuck on the top. And in the centre of the signature, I've put a nice doily in there again, just to kind of um, lighten it up a bit, really. Uh, just some a little bit of collage there, some stitching. And this is the other side of the bag. And music paper, that could be another tuck spot there. Some more manuscript paper, some more tsunami rose with a lace trim, some stamping, uh, fabric ruffle, fabric and lace, a bit of script stamping, tsunami rose, washi, some stamping, and there's another pocket there. And this is just some collage in, I've just some, done some stitching around. On this uh, squared paper, got some lace trim, some more tsunami rose, a bit more script stamping on this page, and here's a couple of double tuck spot, and there's a little little flip out there, and again just a little bit of um, collage in there, some stitching on the top, and this is the back of the signature. It's just like a photo mat. Use that as a photo mat, and then the back of the first signature. And then I've put two envelopes in the middle with some ephemera in, and it's all things that I've made myself. Well, most of it. I'll show you that when I've finished. So this is the second signature. Again, it's a sheet of this uh, paper. You can see the the tea bag shape there, and then there's kind of squiggly lines going off. And um, I used a, a that's a normal a regular tea bag. And I used a fruit tea as well. And although it's a fruit tea and it's quite red, it does actually turn out to be kind of a bluey green colour. This one here just put a little uh, couple of little images there. A lace trim. Another cutout from a handicrafts magazine. A bit of collage, another snarly rose, squared paper. A scanned image from an old ledger, a little bit of lace, and there's a pocket and this is another scanned image from a, a handicrafts magazine illustrating fretwork. That's a little pocket there and then there's a tuck in the back. Some more tsunami rose, another pocket here for a tuck spot. Some more nice uh, Die in there and a doily sewn on, just like a little 
flip up. Another illustration from Reader's Digest book. Uh, this is a sheet from Music Book. Another tuck spot there. This paper. It's another tuck spot with a made with a doily and a Tim Holtz ticket. Another little uh, flip up there. I can also use that as a tuck spot. Lace ruffle. In the centre of the signature chair, I've got a little flip up, flip down, some stamping. And this signature's got some, some nice lace in the centre. Washi, some stamping. Nice plain page there. And this is from a book, music book. And it's just trimmed with a little bit of lace on the side there. There's a little, little flip out, that's a little shrunk down Artimate, um, Tsunami Rose page there. Another pocket, with some collage on uh, fabric and lace trim, some washi, some script stamping, tsunami, uh, yeah, tsunami rose paper, the um, lace trim on the other side of the scanned ledger page. Some more Tsunami Rose, a little collage on there, and in the back of the signatures, another image from the Reader's Digest book. And here's another little tuck spot, and that's trimmed with lace. And on the back, got that little lace flap again. And here's just a little, a little extra notebook, uh, lace covered, just some little scraps of paper in there, and a little, uh, little rusted clip. And I'll show you some of the ephemera, a lot of which I've made myself. I've got a glassine envelope here. There's a little origami envelope. And then there's just a couple of little Tim Holtz theatre tickets. And then these um, are from a, a gardening magazine that I've got. Just some old adverts and there's room on the back for journaling. These are all just vintage adverts. And these are some altered tags that I've done. Just some um, distressing, some stamping that's got some embossing on. Um, so that's them. And an altered um, alteration tag. Just inked and just some decoupage. Um, there's a napkin on there, so they're all going to come in the glassine envelope. And then this is another envelope that I've made, it's got a lace trim. This is made with the boiled paper as well. And in here there's some, these are all journaling cards that I've, I've made just by collaging. So there's uh, some of this size and they've all got tea dyed paper on the back. Just collaging with um, music paper, book paper, little images, and some all stitched around. And there's some bigger ones here, the same effect. Music paper, uh, some Tim Holtz images. That's from an Artie Mays page. And that's just backed onto some lined paper. And here, uh, book paper, music paper. Roses, a little, a little image there, some lace trim, some lined paper, and again some stamping, some music paper, a couple of little vintage photographs, backed onto some tea dyed paper. So I'm going to leave all them separate. I'm not going to put them in the tuck spots or pockets. I'm going to give them as a include them as a separate item. So that's my um. Super grungy, um, lacy, mixed, mixed ephemera type journal. Two signatures, hundred pages plus, and a lace covered cover. So this is going to be going in my Etsy shop pretty soon. 
so I hope you like that. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.